This is the DNC One to One Show, episode 11, recorded on the 23rd of May 2013. So we're here at the Sugar Club in Dublin, and I'm here with Kahar Fury, the CEO and founder of the company 45 Sounds. So hi, and uh, great to have you on the show. How's it going? Very good, thanks, Andrea. Great to uh, great to chat with you, and great to have you here in Dublin. I know exactly, and uh, we've been talking for a few weeks now. We met at various events, so it's good to actually do an interview for the show. So uh, tell me all about 45 Sound. What, what what is it, and what, what do you do? Okay, so we've developed a cool video technology that makes it really easy. Um, to channel all the fan footage, uh, fan video footage that fans love to shoot of their favorite bands and actually put it to work for the band um, yeah. and for the other fans. So currently there's a problem in that everyone's got a high definition camera in their pocket, be it a smartphone, DSLR camera, and people do like to capture their own unique personal memories of live music. However, um, sometimes that can disrupt other people's experience of the show. The yeah. AAS, I've been talking about that and so have all Jay. Um, and also the, the biggest fundamental problem, and this is where the company started, is uh, the idea that it all sounds terrible. Tiny little microphones on these great image quality cameras means that it doesn't represent the band properly at all. The artists get frustrated. Do we feature this on our Facebook page anyway because it was a great live show and we want to, you know, work with our fans on the Facebook page? Or do we issue a takedown to YouTube because that's not our music? We sound check, we have a great engineer. So with 45 Sound, all a band or artist needs to do is arrange a proper live audio recording. So typically they take a desk feed. One thing we insist on is make sure you mic the crowd and room properly so it sounds like a proper live audio recording. And we leave that up to the band or artist to decide how they want to do it because it's their music, what reflects it. Um, and then what we're able to do is the band just asks the fans. I mean, what we're finding a lot is they're, they're talking about one song. They say, hey, guys. Uh, when they see the cameras out at the start of the show, they can say, hey, hold on to those cameras because we'll tell you, we, we actually want you to help us film a video. We'll let you know. Right. Halfway through the set, when they're all dialed in and sounding great and warmed up, they say, okay, guys, check out those phones and cameras. Let's make a live video. Yeah. Everyone films them singing a song. And then afterwards, the band is able to say, thank you very much, guys. Uh, make sure you upload all those videos to 45 Sound. Uh, we'll, we'll put together a cool video. Now, please put away your phones and cameras and let everyone enjoy the show, Absolutely. which I think is pretty powerful. What we're able to do is take all those videos. We have algorithms that are automatically able to use the poor quality audio from the on-camera microphone, see the patterns in that, and automatically match it up with a high-quality audio recording. Yeah. So that means three things. So a lot of components to the application, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a simple concept, but the back end, there's quite a lot of technology, but yeah. that's how we're able to do cool things. It's quite funny because, um, you know, the bands are the guys with the social media following who can put out on Twitter and Facebook, hey, let's do this. And it's quite funny, a few bands have kind of said, we're working with 45 Sound, what they do is kind of magic, you know, which is which is cool for us because we put a lot of time into developing the Absolutely. technology yeah. and people enjoy it. So what's cool is your individual video now sounds great because we swap out the poor quality audio, put in the broadcast quality, you know, professionally recorded audio. So your, Andrea's unique memory of the show now sounds great. Yeah. Then a cool thing happens when five people, 10 people, 20 people video the show, because now people can go onto our web player and onto our iPhone app and automate, you can switch between the different angles because oh, wow, we have it right. all synced up. That's so you awesome. can start watching and you can say, I wonder what it's like from that angle, that angle, that angle. And then what's really cool is I come from a video production background. So we can take all that footage, all the timing information that we've automatically generated and then edit a, a kind of final video from it. Yeah. So we've just put our first video up on Vivo. We worked with um, Sony Digital and Bring Me The Horizon. So that's gone up on their right. Vivo channel. So awesome. it shows it, yeah, it goes from fan footage right the way up to broadcast quality content. And not only that, I think a, a lot of people, like we're here at a technology event today and people get hung up on technology and code. But for me, technology is just a tool. There was a time when the wheel was technology. Uh, technology is just new stuff. It's what you do with it. And I think that's what's really powerful. It's the psychology be behind what we're doing. Absolutely. We're breaking down that barrier, letting people get involved. You don't have to have our iPhone app. You don't have to have our Android app. Anything you can shoot on, DSLR, point and shoot, Android, iPhone, you can be a part of this. Um, and it's kind of interesting because a lot of people were talking about what Sound Halo are doing with, yeah. with Alt-J. And I think that's really exciting. And, and everything that people are doing in this space, I think, is really exciting. But what I think is kind of cool is that 
that's being filmed by a professional crew. Yeah, sure. This is being filmed by the fans themselves. I think that's really powerful, and we credit them all on the videos as well. So. Of course. And so, um, uh, you know, for a project like this, uh, how, how long did it take you to get it uh, to get it running, and uh, how does it work? Uh, well, yeah, I, I came from a video production background, so I loved shooting uh, video. We got paid to do corporate work, but our love was filming live music. Never got paid, obviously, but um, working with some incredible Irish and international bands, and I just had the germ of an idea. I'm like... First of all, the audio is the most important thing. Everyone filming this is wasting their time unless it's recorded properly. Then I was like, there's got to be an easier way of doing this than, okay, will I take your memory card? Will we copy it over now? Will you drop box it to me? Will I call around to your place with a hard drive? Very, very messy. And then I was like, hang on a second. There's five of us filming this. There's 50 people in the crowd. And when that guy goes crowd surfing yeah. or kneels in the middle of the crowd playing a guitar solo, You're not gonna get that shot. those guys have the best shots in the house. And it doesn't matter if they have a five-year-old Nokia phone or an old BlackBerry, they're getting the best shot. So germ of an idea, um, gave a lot of thought. Um, and I was really fortunate that I, I managed to hustle a bit and found two, uh, Dan and Mikel would be in the top five or 10 in, in audio processing uh, research in the world. Um, and they were working with a, a Dublin based university at the time, DIT. We sat down, I bought them lunch and I said, hey, here's what, here's what I want to do. And they said, hmm, that's a good idea. And we can do that. Yeah. Give us your most distorted samples and let us right. add it. So awesome. it's been about a two year journey so far, yeah. but right now like we're working with Universal, we're working with Sony, we're do, we've, we've done stuff across three continents, 18 countries now, working with lots of cool bands. So um, it's very exciting, starting to take shape. And the really exciting thing about what we do is a lot of brands want to get involved in the live music space, but they don't want to just be a poster on the wall. And fans kind of, fans react positively to brands when brands bring something extra and do positive things and add to the live music experience. So we did it for the first time here in Dublin for the Choice Music Awards. We worked with Meteor, a uh, uh, mobile phone company. So that's where we're trying to go with it. That's where it's starting to get exciting because then our technology can bring more money to the table, yeah. which means the fans are getting a better experience through our technology and the bands earn more money and the labels earn more money. Yeah. And, and, and as an industry, we need to replace the lost earnings from recorded music sales. And there's incredibly, like incredible bands in Ireland, there's incredible bands worldwide, everyone's starting to discover. And we want them to be discovered get great talent recognized and seen by A&R people around the world Absolutely. and bring more money to the table. Absolutely, and talking about money, so uh, there's, a, there's a potential sort of brand uh, sponsorship play, and also uh, is there going to be any way of, uh, for example, purchasing some of the videos, or how's it going to work when you're Yeah, well, we're looking at a number of ways of doing that. I mean, if you're watching a great live fan shot video of, of, of a band, then you might want to buy that actual live recording. Yeah. You might want to uh, buy the studio recording of that track. It's like, I love that track. I want to hear the studio version. I want to play it on my on my iPhone. Um, and then our technology is very flexible. So currently we push all those individual fan videos to a dedicated YouTube channel per artist. But we can, we can have a lot of fun with those videos. So we are starting to have discussions with labels about ways of monetizing that live content. But right now, we're really excited about our technology. So right now, we're about getting it out there, getting people viewing it, and getting people who get it. I mean, it's interesting. There was a guy on Facebook that I met in the U.S. a couple of months ago in their HQ, and he, he said it, not me. He's like, it's as if you're creating a new category of content. Something magical happens. It was better than I anticipated. When you take a sh sh slightly shaky uh, camera angle from in the middle of the crowd, yeah. and you match that with pro audio, I think it's more engaging than studio recorded yeah. music and I think it's more engaging than a guy with a tripod filming who's kind of checking his watch and going, what am I going to have for dinner? These aren't really my type of music. Absolutely. It's kind of incredible. So so we want to build that and, and build a buzz around that and, and help musicians. And there's a number of different ways we can monetize that. That's great. That's uh, super exciting. So just to, to end, uh, can you direct us to maybe a couple of videos that may be available out there that people can go and check out of uh, what you've done? Or is it easier to just go on your website and then check uh, this you out? Sh you should look at our website. I mean, there's there's great indi individual videos, even single shot stuff. Look for a guy called Foy Vance at South by Southwest. I love the guy, he's incredibly talented, uh, singer-songwriter. Uh, check out his video, check out Bring Me The Horizon, live at Telka, 45 Sound on their Vivo channel. Check out Jamie Cullum, that, I think that was our most fan video so far, 85 fan videos of a single track. Um, and hopefully, very shortly, we're gonna have some really cool stuff from Little Green Cars, 
uh, one of another like amazing Irish talent um, and they were playing their biggest Irish headline show in Vicar Street recently here in oh, Dublin great. so a couple of videos hopefully to go up from them we're doing some cool stuff if you're based in London uh, a couple of cool shows coming up shortly in London as well uh, yeah watch this place a lot more to come that's awesome and it's 45sound.com 45sound.com another thing is hey if a band you love you think they should be using our technology get in touch with them tell them about us we've never done any PR we, we're, we're a small startup it's, it's, it was kind of a labour of love for a while yeah. we're starting to get traction and momentum now but please if you like what we do reach out to your favourite band tell them what we do and, and tell them to, to give our technology a try for one of their songs at one of a show you're going to be at and uh, be a part of telling the story of your favourite band I think that's pretty cool that's awesome well thanks so much for your time and uh, look forward to seeing what you guys are going to be up to in the next few months thank cool. you thanks very much man cheers if you enjoyed the show, remember to check out our weekly music tech news show on digitalmusictrends.com.